Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the church, the anniversary of our diocese of Foma Thibodeau. I saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the grace you have bestowed, so that by unceasing growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to the Lord, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And, like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith. But for those without faith, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone which will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce in praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Because of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will pray for your good. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord.
Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Samaritan woman said to Jesus, Sir, I could see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand, because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again, we welcome everyone this morning in. You may notice the reading is a little bit different this morning because we celebrate a special day. It's celebrated as a feast for our Diocese of Homo Thibodeau. This is our diocesan um, anniversary. And so we celebrate the 40 plus years that um, the Diocese of Homo Thibodeau um, has stood as its own um, ecclesial um, diocese here in South Louisiana. And in a sense of today, we offer um, joy and gratitude and, and worship before our Heavenly Father. Um, joy for the gift of our, our local church. Um, joy for the gift of our um, vibrant um, Catholic culture um, here in Southwest Louisiana. We're, we're so blessed um, to be Southern Catholics, um, so to say. We have a very um, rich and diverse um, faith life that um, is celebrated um, you know, by many here um, in the South. And in a sense, you know, it's not like that everywhere you go in the country. So we're very blessed um, as Southern Catholics, and especially here in Southeast Louisiana. And perhaps today is the day that we can um, celebrate St. Genevieve Parish, um, all the way back from our humble beginnings um, in the Lumberyard to this beautiful um, church, this beautiful sanctuary um, that we have today. Uh, for many of us, we've been here um, throughout the years, and we've seen our um, St. Genevieve Parish um, transform um, over those years. Um, perhaps today is the day that we can um, lift up prayers for former um, priests and pastors and Perhaps, you know, remember the priest that, you know, baptized us or married us or, you know, gave us those sacraments of initiation. Um, perhaps you could offer this um, Mass or you could offer your prayers um, today for them. Um, please continue to um, pray for our new bishop, um, Mario, um, as he um, continues to be our new shepherd um, to guide our diocese um, in the coming years. We also continue to pray for um, just the revitalization of our parishes, and especially in the wake of um, Hurricane Ida, we want to continue to um, pray for our parishes. You know, we're doing you know pretty here. We were spared any major um, devastation here at St. Jivy, but a number of our parishes, especially in Lower Lafourche and Lower Terrebonne, um, are still you know in great need of um, you know rebuilding. So you know, let's you know remember our whole diocese today um, that we're not. Um, you know, just one parish of St. Genevieve, but we're, you know, 39 um, churches and, and two mission churches um, in our Diocese of Foma Thibodeau. We have anywhere from 50 to, to 70 active and um, retired priests. Um, we also pray for our, our three um, men preparing for ordination this summer, um, Joseph um, Laparus and Matthew Prosper, who are both from um, the Lower Terrebonne era, be ordained um, priests um, this summer. And also, um, Davis um, from Uganda will be ordained priest um, for our diocese um, this summer. So it's with great joy that um, we recognize that the Lord is still calling um, young men to the priesthood to be co workers in the vineyard. And we're blessed um, to have so many ordinations um, in recent years. Continue to provide for the sacramental needs of our um, diocese. And in our readings today, um, once again, you hear the theme that we're also called to be living stones, that our church is not limited to these um, beautiful edifices that we've built as houses of worship, but ultimately 
It's you and I, the baptized members of the body of Christ, who comprise the church, which is the body of Christ. And in a sense, all stone and mortar will fade away in heaven, but in heaven what will remain is you and I. As members, living stones of the body of Christ, we will comprise the church in heaven. And so it's paramount that we continue to um, recognize that, you know, we're members of the body of Christ, grafted on um, to Christ himself, and that we're the body and Christ is the head and Mary is the neck. And in a sense, we want to conform ourselves to the headship of Christ. And all those graces that are necessary flow through our Blessed Virgin Mary and through the Blessed Sacrament of the Eucharist, that we too may be built up in the life of Christ. On the anniversary of our diocese, we ask for God's blessing upon our new shepherd, Bishop Morio. May the Lord continue to grant him the wisdom and guidance to lead our diocese towards her renewal. For this, we pray to the Lord. We lift up St. Genevieve Parish at Thanksgiving for her charter members, her founding pastor, the priests and laity and religious and consecrated who have served St. Genevieve over these past years. For this we pray to the Lord. In a special way, we remember the gift of the youth of our diocese who provide the future of our church. May the Lord continue to stir up the gift of the graces of his faith in their hearts. For this we pray to the Lord. Remember our churches and parish communities in our diocese that are still are suffering in the wake of Hurricane Ida, may the Lord bless them in their rebuilding effort. For this we pray to the Lord. For the sick among us, the intercession of Blessed Francis de Recilos, may they receive the gift of healing and hope. We pray to the Lord. For those who have gone to their eternal rest before us, may they come to know the peace of Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. We offer all these prayers to the intercession of our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph as we ask for their intercession for our diocese on this day of our anniversary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the grace of the sacraments and an answer to their prayers, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer, in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace, and resplendent with the glory of life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, and on earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ would be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Moyer, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, of the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. They merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My house shall be a house of prayer, says the Lord. In that house, everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened.
Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace, and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. St. Michael. Amen.